What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I am here back with another reaction video from the richest. Alright. We're gonna be reacting to Pablo Escobar High. Five hundred billion dollars. And it was only able to find eighteen million dollars in US currency. <sighs> Pablo, 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 Pablo. Don, Don Pablo Escobar. Alright, so we're going to be reacting today. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. I don't want to do too much talk because I'm excited to see what they say happens to it, but let's get into it. Don, who, Don Pablo! He was ruthless, a criminal mastermind, a smuggler, a drug lord. Yes, sir. That was Pablo Escobar, the notorious crime lord in the 1980s and 90s. And apparently, he stashed his, ahem, earnings in the walls of his home. How do we know this? Turns out his nephew stumbled upon a whopping $18 million, along with some other incredible valuables in the walls of his uncle's Colombian home. And wow. get this. This ain't the first time Escobar's money has been found stashed away. It's a wild story, and it'll likely leave you wondering just what riches could be hidden away in the walls of your own home. I bet. Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria was born on December 1st, 1949. Early in his life, his family moved to Envigado, Colombia, and it wasn't long before the young Mr. Escobar started partaking in a life of crime. Reports say that as a teenager, he would smuggle stereo equipment and would even steal tombstones so he could then resell them for a profit. That's, that's not new. It wasn't long before Escobar found his way into smuggling illegal substances. His success led him to found the infamous Medellin Cartel, who served as the head of the organization, overseeing the buying, selling, transport, and trading of a certain cocaína from the leaves of the coca plant. You know what we're talking about here, people. Cocaína. If you don't, just ask everyone's favorite mobster from the movie Scarface, Tony Montana. My own. We're sure that he can clear things up for you. Little cockroaches. Pablo Escobar was truly a drug lord at the top of his game, and the Medellin cartel was the dominant force when it came to illegal activities. And when you're the top dog, you can bet you got insane amounts of cash flowing in. Pablo Escobar's estimated worth at this time was $25 billion. Goddamn. And he absolutely spent it. He owned a 7,000 acre estate in Colombia and was known to house all sorts of wild and exotic animals on the property, wow. including giraffes, hippos, and camels. Wow. He also owned property in Miami, Florida, which is currently on the market for $15.9 million. So, yeah. This guy was rich. 15.9. Filthy, filthy rich. But here's where things start to get interesting. Because the money was coming in so fast, Pablo Escobar was forced to stash it all somewhere. After all, banks didn't want anything to do with Mr. Escobar's dirty money. Yep. So he would put it in Swiss bank accounts. But that wasn't enough. So he decided to shrink wrap his money and stash it in plastic barrels or in metal boxes. But that still wasn't enough. Escobar then started hiding it on his properties, in walls, in basements, anywhere. We gotta say, while we don't condone making your money with illegal activities, we can't deny that having so much money that you don't know what to do with it is a pretty sweet problem to have. Which brings us to today. Pablo Escobar met his end in 1993, but he left much of his fortune unaccounted for. And it's still out there to wow. this day. Millions upon millions of dollars just out there waiting to be stumbled upon. Like they were when his nephew, Nicholas Escobar, found an astonishing $18 million hidden in the walls of his apartment in the city of Medellin. The estate was previously owned by his uncle. And apparently, Uncle Escobar thought it would be a safe place to hide some of that incredible fortune. Nicholas Escobar did at one point work for his uncle and had seen some pretty scary stuff in his lifetime. And he had absolutely heard of his uncle stashing his cash around his properties. But with regards to his incredible find, 
he claims he had a vivid vision of where to look for the money that led him to searching in the walls of his apartment. Wow. Behind the wall, he found a secret cove, and there was a trash bag full of money. But what else did he find? A gold pen, satellite phones, a typewriter, and an undeveloped roll of film. Oh, and apparently, it stunk real bad. To quote Nicholas, the smell was astonishing. A smell 100 times worse than something that had died. We'll just take your word on that one, Nicholas. But if you're as blown away by this story as we are, you ain't heard nothing yet. According to a book written by Pablo Escobar's brother, Roberto, much of his fortune is still out there, hidden away, as in millions upon millions of- Hey man, don't do that crap. Hey man, that's a business idea, you piss me off. Hold up, sorry, you hear me quiet. ...are out there right now, just waiting to be dug up. This is no small chunk of change, people. We're talking gold bars, stacks of cash, all of it. In fact, at one point, one-fifth of all the $100 bills in existence were buried in Colombia. That's a lot of dough. To quote Roberto's book, the biggest headache was hiding the money. I created the system of Caletas, small hiding places in the walls of houses and apartments. There could be as much as five million in cash hidden in a single caleta. The allure of finding Pablo Escobar's hidden fortune has absolutely captured the imagination of treasure hunters from around the globe. The rumors state that the money is most likely located on the estates of Mr. Escobar in Colombia, Mexico, and Florida. And over the years, some truly amazing stashes of cash have indeed resurfaced. In November of 1989, four million pounds were found in three... Oh my gosh, the wide crash. Wow, YouTube on some different shit. Hold up. Dollars are out there right now, okay. just waiting to be dug up. This is no small chunk of change, people. We're talking gold bars, stacks of cash, all of it. In fact, at one point, one fifth of the biggest headache was hiding the money. I could cash hidden. The rumors state that the money is theirs. Some truly amazing stashes of cash have indeed resurfaced. Okay, yeah. In November of 1989, four million pounds were found in three plastic cans, of all things, and they were dug up in Colombia. The next year, 25 million pounds as well as 150 kilograms of gold were found. Wow. In 2009, 5 million pounds were found in the jungle where Escobar was known to partake in much of his illegal trading he was known for. And in 2015, 450 million pounds were found by 65-year-old Jose Cartolos, who was digging up a field to start a palm olive plantation. We'd venture to say that he won't be farming again anytime soon after a find like that. But it doesn't stop there. Reports estimate that the Colombian government has only recovered 75 million pounds of missing money, and that 10 times that amount is still out there. Hey, if you're looking for a new home, might want to consider looking at one of Pablo Escobar's previously owned estates. But be warned, you won't be the only one looking at them. You may want to hire a bodyguard. Or two. Or ten. Well, it seems like it may not be such a bad idea to take a look behind all the walls, floorboards, in your basement, and the attic to see if any notorious drug lord stashed his incredible fortune right where you live. Hey, it couldn't hurt. Or maybe you could be like Nicholas Escobar and wait for a vision to appear and tell you where all the money is. Personally, we're not sold on that one. After all, if Nicholas's extrasensory perception is that good, Maybe he should buy a lottery ticket. Or maybe lead an expedition to find the lost city of Atlantis. Thanks. We know we would. You can bet we would use that latent power to become one of the richest. Thanks for watching today's wow. video. If you enjoyed our content, give us a like and subscribe. Bro, that's a lot of cheese Pablo had hide about in Colombia, you know. Out of cheese, bro. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Damn, bro. Pablo, send me a vision.
Bro. Hey, who will go to Colombia with me? <laughs> or Mexico? You know what? Florida right there. So, let's, let's go. But man, though. And listen, you know what I feel like? This is my prediction. I feel like most of his money probably in the jungle. I don't know. I don't think he'll probably do it because of corrosion. I don't know. Corrosion? Nah. I don't think he'll choose the money. I feel like probably, like you say, homes. Because Pablo had a lot of homes in his name, bro. And I feel like some of the homes are not even going to be in his name. You know what I mean? They might be in the same name like his wife. Not his wife. Not his wife. Probably like his kids. Or like one of his close friends. You know? Something like that. I feel like, he was, I feel like he's the type of guy who would do that. To, to hide the money. Because you can't put all that in your name. We're like, Pablo Escobar. You know? No. You put too much red flags. Oh boy. I well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to go with me for to look for some golden treasures of Paul Escobar. That's me some dope. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more reaction videos from me. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.